I'm Isaiah, and I limited my social media use during quarantine. This is how it went. I decided to do this because I've always been wondering how much more productive I could be if I limited my social media use. And it all came to a head when I downloaded this app that showed me how I use my phone. And it really surprised me. Um, most days I'd use between six hours and nine hours of phone usage. And nine hours is a very long time. And I didn't expect that. So I decided that maybe now was the time to experiment, try a few things and see what I could learn from it. So these are the rules I decided to follow for the one week period. Number one, no phone use in bed because it was a huge time sink when waking up or falling asleep. Two, no checking my email for more than once a day because there's a lot of times when I would just go to check it randomly, pretending to be productive when I actually wasn't. All streaming, that's Netflix and YouTube, restricted to Saturdays. Um, that's because I spend a lot of time just falling down a rabbit hole when it comes to those two things. <laughs> no, no use of social media in the bathroom because I'd waste a lot of time when getting ready, um, scrolling Instagram and whatnot. And finally, when I'm working, I will put my phone on airplane mode. Uh, those are the rules and there was definitely some mixed results. So this is day one, uh, well and truly into this digital minimalism. What I've done on my phone actually is I downloaded an app that pretty much blocks me from breaking those rules. You know, it's really helped keep me in check when my willpower probably would not have kept the challenge going. And although it's day one, I've had a lot of challenges. It's been very boring without it. That boredom is good, you know? It leads to you doing a lot of things that you probably wouldn't have thought to do, like maybe clean your room. So it's definitely been a positive so far. The end of seven days, um, it was a good experience overall. And there were definitely seven main things that I took away from it. The first being that taking away the ability to use my phone so much made me so much more mindful of the things I was doing, especially when it came to simple tasks like washing the dishes or um, gardening. Without the phone in my hand or like a YouTube video playing in the background, I was really able to you know, focus on what I was doing. And even when I wasn't focusing on what I was doing, I could let my mind wander. And you know, it was a lot more relaxing and I became a lot more creative. The second thing is in a really unexpected way, it made the days feel shorter. And it's really ironic because you think that the more entertainment you have, the shorter the day will feel. But I found it the opposite because, you know, when I use social media, to be entertained, it's almost like I'm trying to kill time and just get towards the end of the day where I could sleep and just restart the whole process. But without it, without um, having free access to it, I was able to jump from task to task and to my brain that felt like things were going by quicker, so much so that at the end of the day, I was wishing I had more time rather than wishing the day would just end. The other thing is, I really missed it. It was, on some days it was really tough. You know, I would just want to lie in my bed and scroll on Instagram for an hour or two. Um, but I had to keep honest to the rules. It wasn't always the best. Long term, if I were to do this in the future, I would definitely give myself a break when it came to times where I needed to just relax and turn my brain off. Uh, but yeah, it's it's definitely not all um, roses and sunshine. On a really random note, it made me very conscious of what I was eating and it made me snack a lot less. When I had unlimited access to social media, I would use my phone a lot, um, like when I go to the kitchen and I guess subconsciously my body would just want something else to do while watching YouTube or Instagram. and. 
more often than not that became snacking because I wasn't so preoccupied by my phone I didn't feel the urge to snack as much I started thinking am I actually hungry or am I not and that made me you know more aware of myself and what I was putting into my body it definitely seems like the more you watch social media the more you want to watch and vice versa the less you watch the less you want to watch during the days that I had unlimited access I didn't find myself trying to catch up on lost time and like watch YouTube for the entire day. I actually watched it less than I did the previous week, which was really fascinating. And you know, it was just surprising to see that although I had the ability, I just didn't want to. It wasn't like I was trying to be high and mighty, I just, it didn't appeal to me and I ended up doing something more productive with my time. And the final takeaway that I got from this little experiment was that I didn't even use my phone less, which is very surprising to me. What did change was how I used the phone. I used my phone for about six hours every day, which is still a lot, and it could definitely be cut down. But the difference was that the majority of that came from using WhatsApp. Um, which is an app where you can message and video call your friends. It made me realize that now I was using my time on my phone to connect with my friends. If I was able to see them and talk to them, I'm sure that that percentage would have gone down simply because I would just actually visit them and talk to them. Um, but you know, it was definitely interesting to see that I pretty much replaced something that was just purely entertainment. Got out of it time well spent with my friends. This whole thing was in part inspired by Matt DeAliva. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Um, I saw his video on digital minimalism and it really inspired me to do the same. He is a much more successful and accomplished person than I am. <laughs> so I just thought it would be interesting to get it from a perspective of you know, just a regular 21 year old college student. But I hope you enjoyed. I hope you might have been inspired to do it yourself, see how it might go for you. Um, these are all my experiences. I don't know how it might turn out for you. It might be terrible. It might be incredible. I think mine was more like a good neutral. And I think that I think any anytime you learn about yourself and how you act, it's a win. So if you are more interested in content like this where I experiment different things and try new um, ways of life <laughs> um, you can subscribe below yeah that's about it i drastically reduced my social media use <laughs>